Using a bigger range of motion when resistance training can increase muscle growth, strength, and flexibility. But here's where a lot of people get confused and use this principle improperly. Range of motion isn't equal to the distance that a weight travels. Range of motion is equal to the amount of degrees that a specific joint moves. For example, a Romanian deadlift is typically used to target your hamstrings. Therefore, your goal during the RDL should be to flex and extend your hips as much as possible so your hamstrings are stimulated to their maximum potential. With that said, you could either focus on lowering the bar as close to the ground as possible by any means imaginable. For instance, you could bend your knees or reach to the ground by rounding your upper back, shoulders, and or lower back. Or you can focus on pushing your hips back as far as possible without letting any other body part move and letting the bar end up where it does. For instance, you could flex your hips to their greatest degree, stopping right before your lower back loses its position and allow the weight to end up where your body stops. The key point of this is it appears as if you're using more range of motion in figure one and two because the bar is traveling further. But in reality, you're using more hip range of motion in figure three, which causes your hamstrings to get more stimulation. When you're trying to resistance train over a larger range of motion to increase muscle growth, strength, and flexibility, don't think about the distance a weight travels. Instead, look at the degrees a specific joint moves.